Yeah, well, I'm kind of working on that. Uh, you know, I'm working on places outside in communities now um, where, like an Apple store where there's a genius bar, there are these people who are navigators or, and young people are wayfinders trying to find their way. And they come in and help you connect to those things. Without the intrusion of all this other stuff that's given to you in a scope and sequence in 95% in of schools. And so these young people are coming in because they want to learn. And productive learning is about wanting to learn. And once you have that piece, if you can make those connections to adults and to texts and to certifications and to other things so you can connect them to the right schools and the right services, it's prevention rather than intervention and treatment. And I think that's a big piece. Also a big piece is putting the person in personalization, not just getting on the internet really to get off the internet to actually meet people because it is, and it sh as well as it should be, a who you know world as, as well as what you know. The two have to go together. And people have to form those kinds of bonds and relationships or else they're not going to hire one another and work with one another effectively and well. Nobody works alone. There's no such thing as an agent who's just in their mind. Agents are out in the world. They touch things. They mess around with objects. The objects become them or they make the objects. And these are really important things, especially as, a, as something that we should be learning from the Finnish system where at any age, young people in school are working with their hands, minds, and hearts using metal, wood, textiles, or clay, ceramics. That's been going on forever there and I don't know why we don't talk about it, but it's a very, very powerful form of learning that leads you from the concrete to the abstract and back to the concrete and back to the abstract. And some of the best mathematicians in the world are women who were weavers. And the woman who invented Kevlar was a weaver when she was young. And actually, somebody actually taught her how to weave. Now, I don't remember who that person was, but that's a relationship with something that you want to do. And that's where it goes. But it starts there.